Right, so <coughs> Lizzie, here we go. I'm just having to go at this. I can't get that tube off of the tank. It's too tight. I feel it's going to shear it off, so I've left well alone. There is a, a wick in now because I put a torch through the top here and I could see it. So I'm just priming it at the moment. Um, but th this is the one you have for that at the moment, this thing. Um, which I feel is not the right one. I've put one of mine in there for now to see if um, it's going to burn any different. <coughs> if it doesn't, then <coughs> I'm not going to bother buying another one. I've, I can't ring the chap up till 11 o'clock because that's when he um, he starts work. Well, funny time to start, isn't it? You know, I've been working on this and your other stove. Turn it off, the lights, Get some idea what we've got. Well, yeah, it just proves my theory that um, that works better with these on as opposed to the one you've got. So, um, and they do vary, these thread sizes do vary. Now this, let's get it right, this one comes off of a, a Russian copy, which is what I've borrowed the top for. This one is my original, uh, my original one for the Optimus, the Swedish version. This is the original. Now that thread, you can see you've got quite a bit of a shoulder there, haven't you? This one is very little shoulder, very little. And not only that, believe it or not, the Russian one does not fit that one. So you've got to make sure you get the original. So all I'm going to do is see if I can get an original when he decides to open up shop uh, and go from there. But that seems to be going quite well, there's me. That's cleaning the ah, starting to get the roar like the old helicopter, Chinook I call them. <laughs> The needle does go up in the jet to clean it, as you can see, but what I like is it doesn't put the gas out. It is actually, you right, it's clearing the jet. So you can't turn it off with the uh, jet pricker. As I said, you turn them off clockwise. So yeah, that's it. When you get that yellow flame at the bottom, you know, look through one of the vents in the side of the flame spreader and that should go right out. What a lot of them I've found is when you turn it off, you've still got that tiny little yellow flame. So it's not the valve is not shutting off completely. So what happens if you don't depressurise this tank, uh, the pressure in there as it cools down will just seep past the jet. And then when you get this out, and you'll, you'll find you've got kerosene or this fuel all in your other stuff that you packed in your bag. And it's all because that valve didn't shut off properly. Just worth bearing in mind that, um, Leslie. There you go. As I say, I've worked on a few of these now and um, 
they do tend to have a lot of teething problems so that's that one done as you can see I've cleaned the tank up and everything else for you and, and the um, jet thing but oh, a bit too hot to work on at the moment let's took the lights back on so I'm not going to do no more to that mate but if I can get hold of one of these flame spreaders at 11 o'clock and he turns up with it they, they are, I think they're about tenner. A lot of money really, isn't it? Um, but if he does, and the bell, what I call the bell spreader, doesn't fit on that thread, if it don't fit on this thread here, then all you have to do is take the top off and um, put it on there. That's all I should do. Because I think this is an afterthought from somebody <laughs> and I'll tell you what it almost looks like. It looks like one of them little gas burner rings that you get in your gas, co your gas cooker indoors. It looks like one of the small rings, the early, early stage ones. It, it does the job to a point, but it wasn't letting it roar enough because it's not dished in that bell deep enough. It's, it's laying flat as opposed to it being dished, you know. I mean, you can see there's, there's quite a dish on there, isn't there? See? Was this one was just sitting on the top like that it's too I think it's too high that's why so there you go matey that's that so without further ado I'm just gonna nip them down a bit that's it Right, okay mate, I'll crack on then. Catch you in a minute. 